We're here at uh, Victoria Park, a wonderful day, and I just wanted to talk to you a bit about the recent reports that have come out. One is the, uh, the from the uh, Chief Medical Officer, and the second one is the, uh, the report by Louis Lapierre, a uh, retired professor at the University of Moncton. I don't want to be unfair to New Brunswick because my experience is that, well, I've spent all my life in universities, and my experience is that most of them are pretty gutless. It's almost unheard of for academics to speak out on public issues and to do it in any way that doesn't fit the corporate bosses of the country. And we're seeing an example of that right now in New Brunswick. What has happened is the chief medical officer has issued a report in which she says she's a medical officer and the profession agrees with her she says there are real risks, risks to health and risks to life in pursuing shale gas in this province. So how do the universities get involved? Well, they hand over a retired professor who knows nothing about medicine. He's a biologist, which I suppose has some overlap, but not much. Uh, and he offers opinions that have nothing to do with biology, things he knows nothing about. And in the end, he comes down to saying, we should go ahead because what the hell, there's risks, but there's risks in everything. Right, so much for us, so much for our children, so much for our grandchildren, the hell with them. There's risks in everything, maybe there's a couple of jobs. I would have thought universities should be up in arms that is damned unethical behavior for a retired professor or an active one. I am also astonished that I have not heard a public word from any academic in this whole province raising the question of what's being done to us, the way we're being manipulated by shale gas companies and by our newspapers. This is vicious, it's disgusting, it's unethical, and nothing has happened, and the universities all sit there with their faces hanging out. Indeed, the only time in this province I have seen academics take any public position on anything is when they're coming out to kiss up to corporate New Brunswick. And that is a real tragedy of New Brunswick.